Hello, this is Matt with Learn About Law. In this video, we will give a brief overview of child support laws in the state of Wisconsin. We will discuss any significant changes to child support laws for 2022. There has not been any legislation passed in 2021 that will change Wisconsin child support laws for 2022. Child support arises in Wisconsin when it is court-ordered, usually after entering a judgment for divorce or judgment in a parental or paternity court case. Child support is based on both parents' financial information that is submitted to the court and each parent's educational levels obtained. Each parent's ability to provide for and pay child support through their job or other means such as investment portfolios, other relevant financial needs, and other relevant factors that the court will determine. The parties, both parents, can stipulate the amount of child support to be paid from one parent to the other parent as a specific percentage of the paying parent's gross income. Usually only one parent pays child support, but the court, in its discretion, can order both parents to pay child support, primarily looking at the best interests of the child. Both parents have a continuing duty to financially support their child or children until they reach the age of 18. The court may order one of the parents to be responsible for paying the health insurance costs of the child. In the state of Wisconsin, the percentage rates for child support are based on state statute. If a child primarily resides with one parent and the other parent is solely responsible for the child or children's care through paying child support. Child support is calculated based on the percentage standard. The paying parent's gross income will be multiplied by the following child support standards provided by Wisconsin state statute. 17% of gross income is multiplied by the paying parent's gross income when there is only one child. 25% of the gross income is multiplied by the paying parent's gross income when there are two children. 29% of the gross income is if there are three children. 31% of gross income is multiplied when there are four children. 34% of gross income is multiplied by the paying parent's gross income when there are five children or more. Child support is almost always calculated on a percentage standard of the gross income of both parents. Sometimes the percentage standard is not utilized when it would be unfair to one of the parents or children. If the court is if the court, in its discretion, uh, finds that it would be unfair to one of the parents or children, then the court will depart from the percentage standard and may, may, may weigh many other factors looking at the best interest of the child or children. If the court decides to deviate from the percentage standard for the computation of child support and that the percentage standard for child support payments is unfair to one of the parents or child or children, the court will make a finding on the record stating the amount that would have been calculated using the percentage standard and the amount that the court decided to deviate from the percentage standard based on weighing the above factors and state is reasoning behind why it chose to do so. The paying parent will have to pay child support until the child reaches the age of 18 or 19 if the child is completing GED or high school level coursework. The court can place the child support proceedings into a trust account for the child or children. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out the article links below. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments section and subscribe for more legal content daily.